feed line entrance box for the shack. Uh, I took this old meter head enclosure and put a plate over the hole, sealed it with silicone. This is the ground bus bar uh, for all of the uh, lightning protection uh, doohickeys. Uh, they're all for coax. Um, all of the feeds into the shack will be coax. Um, so this is just a piece of um, copper water pipe I've flattened out and screwed in here. It's all basically made out of junk. I think it'll work fine. I used to do this with an electric jackhammer. It was a good bit faster, but I don't have access to an electric jackhammer anymore, so all hammer drills is the only thing. I guess it's better than a sledgehammer, though. We'll get there eventually. Well, I got about six out of eight feet in the ground. There's something hard under there now, but it's going ever so slowly. Big rock, I reckon. By well, golly, that's all she'll do. It just won't go any further. Eh. Now, if I were working for the electric company, we would uh, we would cut it off and not tell the inspector. But uh, the real trick with these ground rods is to leave just enough sticking out of the ground so you can hit it with the lawnmower, but not see it in the grass. Yeah, boy. So the. Uh entrance box with the lightning suppression goes up there next to that window um, so that I can keep the entrance coax as short as possible to minimize losses on uh, non-resonant antennas and then uh, a ground wire will come down out of that and down to that ground rod that we just drove and that's uh, that's going to be an electrical ground and it'll have to go back around the other side of the shack and bond with the ground rod at the service entrance on the other side of the shack. But then I've got another ground rod to install somewhere and uh, I'll have to figure out um, how far away I need to put it from this one because it won't be an electrical ground. It'll be uh, an RF ground for the ground tuning unit. And um, if you put ground rods too close together, they can interact with each other, but I don't remember how far away it needs to be. But um, the ground out here, this is, that's my septic leach field out in there. Um, and it's always a little wetter out there. So um, I think I'll probably drive the RF ground rod out there next to the fence somewhere um, and just run a piece of number 14 wire up this other corner um, and in the window to the ground tuning unit and that that has nothing to do with an electrical ground it's just a um, it tunes your ground to be resonant with the frequency that you're transmitting on so that um, it picks up the ground return currents and the interference um, that that would cause resonates in that tuned um, artificial ground wire instead of your actual electrical ground and that um, increases the uh, efficiency of your the tuned part of your the radiant part of your antenna, and also um, keeps common mode noise off of your ground system, your actual electrical ground system. At least such is my understanding. I'm uh, I'm no expert, but um, that's kind of a necessity when you're up on the second floor um, and your uh, your station ground has to be really long because once your ground wire reaches a certain length it starts acting like an antenna and picks up um, shit off of your radiating antenna and uh, makes a big mess so I think that's how it works correct me in the comments if I'm wrong I probably am because I'm dumber than a sack of hammers won't buy a truck ran when parked it's got a three-speed on the column. It's fancy. You drive that, 
ladies will be beating each other up trying to get in with you. Yeah, boy. <laughs>